Welcome to another fine video in my Intro to HTML web video series. In this video I want to talk about the magical property, CSS property, called position. I call it magic because, well, sometimes it's hard to understand how it works and because it does all kinds of really cool stuff. So let's look at it. I'm going to talk about absolute and relative positioning. So first of all, what you need to know about positioning, position property allows us to move things onto a page to specific places where we want them to go. Okay? Let's look at relative positioning. The way it works is this way. We use the position uh, property, position, and then we set the value to relative, static, or absolute. We're going we're gonna to work on relative first. So position, relative. Now if I do that, I look at it, here's what I had before. Um, notice it didn't do anything when I set the position to relative. Did nothing at all. What I have to do is determine where it's going to be placed relative to its surroundings. So the way position relative works is it changes the position of an element based on where it would normally show up in the flow of the document. So if my articles in main would normally show up here and here, we can use the positioning, the relative positioning, to move them based on this position. So they'll move from this position. So watch this. I'm going to set top to 150 pixels and we'll see what happens. See that? It moved it down 250 pixels relative to its original position. But funny things happen. See how it overlaps down here? This is now overlapping with the article uh, in my sidebar. But what happened is it moved it down 250 pixels relative to its starting point. So that's relative positioning. It allows us to move things relative to their starting position, their natural position in the flow of the document. Absolute positioning works differently. Absolute works like this. So you set position property to absolute. I'm just going to save it and refresh it over here so you can see what's happening. Now, they went and they kind of they stacked up on top of one another. They're going to be positioned in exactly the same place. Absolute will take things out of the flow of the document. Now, if we want to position things absolutely, we have to give them a position. Top. If I set the top position to, let's say, um, 100 pixels, it's going to push it up to 100 pixels down from the top of the document. See, this article is now 100 pixels down from the top of the document. And notice how it's stacking up over the top of things. With absolute positioning, it allows us to move one element over the top of another element. It takes it out of the flow of the document. If normally the document flows from top to bottom and things stack up nicely, Positioning, absolute positioning, allows you to vertically stack things, move things up above other things, which can be really powerful. It can be really cool if used properly. Obviously, you can see right here, it doesn't work so well. This is not a good situation for absolute positioning. So, in review, the two types of positioning we're going to use are going to be absolute and relative. In another video, I'm going to show you some practical uses for absolute positioning.